Let's do some percussion. So I'm going to press select to go back to the main menu, scroll back up to the top, and go back to the sound editor. So I'm going to enter my first percussion, and I'm currently looking at sound two, and I haven't entered any percussion yet. So I'm going to scroll back down, I'm going to hold B and press down to go back to sound zero. And now I'm ready to enter my first percussion sound. Let me peek at my notes here because I don't have these all memorized. There is tons and tons of different percussion sounds you can make. And by percussion, this is all white noise. Here's some, uh, <laughs> when I first, uh, so you know, white noise, psh, krk, that kind of stuff. When I first thought, how am I going to make instruments out of this? Uh, I was actually really impressed at what uh, people can come up with. So I'm just going to enter some basic stuff. So I want a simple kick. Let's see here. All right, so I am in percussion. What is this? Uh, right, channel four, percussion slash noise. All right, we're entering some new sounds. So this is a new channel to work with. We're all done with working with channel one and two sounds. I'm going to skip over three for now. And there are a ton of options here. Look at this. So I'm going to look at the bottom right corner. We've got the frequency. The, what the heck does div stand for? Divider? Oh my gosh. Levels, so that's volume, that's easy. And time, the amount of time this step will play. That's easy too. So time, volume, and then a couple of uh, entries here to change the sound, to change uh, what it sounds like. All right, so I'm going to hold the A button and press up to enter the default. All right, and I'm going to press start to play it. It plays almost nothing. All right, so let's start messing with stuff. So volume I can see is set to zero. Let's make that the max volume. And the time is set to one. Let's change that to the max time. There's the default sound. That's certainly noise. All right, so the frequency type. Let's just mess with these because they're just going to, this is, so back with channel one, you know, you're just changing uh, relative notes over here. And, you know, if you change it from a C3 to a D3, you know what you're going to get. You're going to get a note that's slightly higher. Over here, changing these, they're all uh, so different. So it really just just messing around and see what they sound like. Now, fortunately, uh, this column here, the divider, I don't really understand it, but apparently it's almost always going to be a zero or an eight. So I'll, in my instruments, they're all zeros. Thank goodness. I don't even have to think about it. So let's just mess with this one and see what they sound like. Okay. I'm going to hold the A button and press up to change it to a one. As you can see, <laughs> they're all just different types of white noise. That's pretty cool. That sounds like an explosion. Yep. Super low. Even lower. <laughs> and these are just so low and quiet, they're not even useful. If I put this back down, I can barely hear this. What if I make this an 8? Does that change it? Oh, interesting. It goes faster. What if I change one of these other ones? OK, what if I make this an 8? Oh, it's faster. White noise. Okay. And an eight. Whoa. <laughs> what? Right. So as you can see, there's a lot going on here. And it's, I, I'm only just beginning to understand this whole thing. So I'm just going to enter what I already know works for me. So I'm going to have a, uh, I'm going to start with a seven. I'm going to go to a five and then a zero sound. This is going to remain zero. This is volume. Just for fun, let's set it to, uh, let's crank these up a little bit. <clears throat> All right. So that's full volume for all three steps and pretty long amount of time that they all play. 
So let's lower these all. We'll play this. So the first step will play super fast, fast and relatively loud. This one plays longer, and this one's in the middle. Okay, and we'll lower the volume greatly. So this is going to start. The first step is very loud and then it goes very quiet very fast and this sounds like this <clears throat> just a nice little drum hit all right so that's that I'm gonna hold B and I'm gonna change to sound one so I'm gonna hold B and press up and let's enter sound two this one's even simpler just two I'm gonna use a seven I'm sorry two and a one I'm going to leave that at zero because I almost always leave it at zero. Let's crank the full volume and see what this sounds like and make these uh, play them for a long time. I'll play this. Uh, so this is, this is, uh, what do I, how do I say it? This is uh, ex accentuated for effect. Yeah. All right. So let's fix the volume. I'm going to put it down to four and one. Okay, yeah, I'm going to play these. The first hit is going to be super fast and then let it wait there for a little bit, uh, four steps. And it sounds like this. It's a little tap of the, of the uh, like a cymbal. So I got this. <laughs> Just the basics. I'm terrible at uh, percussion. And so this is all I know how to use so far. <laughs> all right, I've got some sounds. Let's go back to the uh, to our block editor. So I'm going to press select to go back to the main menu. Go back up to the top and block editor. Here's our tune. Yep. And now I'm going to start entering some uh, percussion sounds. What am I going to do? I don't know. So to uh, change these direction to edit, I think this is a typo. So it says if I hold A, I can press the direction to edit. Yeah, it's actually uh, start. So it says, so the middle column there, <laughs> it says SS to set. So that's start or select, I believe. So I'm going to press start. <laughs> and that sets it to, uh, I can see, you can see at the bottom, I'm currently on sound zero, which was the kind of the soft kick sound. And I'm going to hold, I'm going to play just this step by holding the right arrow and press start. I can hear it. It's a pretty faint uh, percussion sound. What am I going to do here? I don't know. Let's just alternate. And oops. How does that actually sound? Can we actually hear it? And we'll play it. Yeah, I can hear it a little bit. What if we did something crazy to really make it stand out? Like, uh, put the ones up here. How's that sound? <laughs> well, I kind of like it better. I don't quite understand what's going on. Here, I think I can, uh, let me use my emulator here to disable those sounds. I can do this and this. There we go. <laughs> so that's what percussion is actually playing. All right. Now let's just repeat that. It's kind of cute. Whatever. So. Oops. Sound one. I'm going to jump back to the middle here. Oops, I jumped to the beginning. <laughs> oh, well, I jumped somewhere. Kind of a jumpy song. All right, that's that.